the exemption of ADR 1.1.3.6 exemptions relating to the quantities carried per transport unit is often responsible for much confusion in the carriage of dangerous goods. It's often referred to under other names such as the ADR exemption or the ADR threshold or small load threshold. Indeed, it's also not a proper exemption. Many of the provisions still apply. The main provisions which don't apply relate to the carriage of the dangerous goods, not the packing or the consignment of the dangerous goods. The exemption of 1.1.3.6 only applies to packages. It doesn't apply to tanks or to bulk. When carrying packages above the threshold, the full carriage requirements of ADR apply. When the quantities of dangerous goods carried on the transport unit is below the thresholds given in ADR 1.1.3.6 for the carriage of those dangerous goods, the driver does not require an ADR certificate or vocational training, but does still require general awareness training. The only equipment that the vehicle needs is a 2 kilo dry powder fire extinguisher which must be installed in the cab of the vehicle with a date of next inspection and it must be complete with a seal. None of the other associated ADR equipment needs to be carried. There is also a UK derogation which goes further than ADR to state that transport documents are not required for many loads which are below the threshold but it's worth reading that derogation in full if you transport explosives or radioactive material because it may not be applicable or may be applicable in quantities different to those given in the thresholds of 1.1.3.6. To calculate whether a load is below the exemption threshold, you must make reference to column 15 of the dangerous goods list for the UN classification of the goods you wish to carry. If it's just one UN entry that you wish to carry, this is fairly straightforward. A number is given in column 15 of the dangerous goods list for each particular UN entry. The number will either be 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. If a 0 is given, then the entry does not qualify the exemption regardless of any quantity. If a 4 is given, then you can carry an unlimited amount of those goods, such as UN 0337 for fireworks of classification 1.4S. If a 1 is given, this relates to 20 kilos or litres net quantity of the substance, the mixture or the material. So the net quantity point is very important. It's not the capacity of the packaging that is important. It's the net quantity of the liquid or the solid that is within the packaging that is used for the calculation of the threshold. If a two is given, this relates to 333 litres or kilograms. If a three is given, this relates to a thousand litres or kilograms net quantity of those dangerous goods. To calculate the threshold for a mixed load, the net quantity of goods assigned to transport category 1 multiplied by 50 is added to the net quantity of goods assigned to transport category 2 multiplied by 3 and the net quantity of goods classed as transport category 3. If the total of those sums is less than 1000 then the load is below the exemption limit. Goods assigned to transport category 4 don't count towards that number of 1000 and any goods packed to the limited or accepted quantity exemptions of ADR also do not count towards that limit. Let's look at an example. Diesel. Diesel fuel is assigned to UN 1202 in ADR Table A. In column 15, 
UN-1202 is assigned to Transport Category 3. In accordance with the table in ADR 1.1.3.6.3, the maximum quantity allowed per transport unit is 1,000. Because diesel is a liquid, this equals 1,000 litres of diesel. It's not the size of the packages, but the total quantity of diesel that is taken into account. For example, the diesel may be split between two intermediate bulk containers of 1,000 litres capacity each, as long as the total quantity of diesel itself does not exceed 1,000 litres on the transport unit, the load will be below the threshold. Don't forget the vehicle will require a 2 kilogram dry powder fire extinguisher and the driver and crew will require general awareness training. For the transport of explosives there is a further UK derogation which allows slightly higher limits to be given. We have a spreadsheet for carriers of fireworks to be able to calculate all of these different thresholds. Please contact us if you would like a copy. And as ever, if you require any help or advice or even require us to calculate these thresholds for you, please just give us a call and we'll be happy to help.